Intercompany Accounting. Acumatica supports companies with multiple offices, subsidiaries, and legal entities. In this video, I describe different intercompany implementation scenarios and demonstrate automated intercompany transactions. Acumatica allows me to set up branch accounts or separate company IDs. The branch configuration allows me to manage related companies, including those that are different legal entities. This configuration reduces administration because entities share customers, vendors, inventory items, and employees. The system automatically creates accounting entries for qualified transactions between branches, such as payments and inventory transfers. By using a separate company ID for each organization, I gain the flexibility to maintain different currencies, financial periods, and charts of accounts. In this configuration, I run a consolidation process at the end of each financial period to prepare reports spanning different legal entities. In this demonstration, I'm running an organization with centralized accounting and two operating entities. The branches post to a single ledger and use Acumatica's intercompany features to automatically create due to and due from entries. To accomplish this, I create branches and turn on the interbranch transactions. Each branch can be assigned an address, GL accounts, employees, and other data. A special branch access role allows me to limit visibility of transactions to specific employees. Employees can be granted access to more than one branch as needed. On the ledgers screen, I verify that interbranch transactions are turned on for the ledger associated with my branches. Moving to the interbranch account mapping screen, I set account ranges that will automatically generate transactions. The offset account is used for creating liabilities that are due to other branches, as well as creating assets that are due from other branches. I include all accounts to ensure my branch books stay balanced. After verifying this setup, I will create a simple intercompany transaction involving two branches. In this example, the sales revenue is associated with a different branch and the one collecting the money. In order to keep the branch books in balance, the system automatically creates the appropriate entries when the transaction is released. In my second example, I will transfer inventory from the main branch to a subsidiary. This is a common scenario for companies that want to buy in bulk to maintain purchasing power. Each warehouse is associated with a branch, so inventory amounts are associated with a single branch. In this case, I create and execute a simple one-step transfer. When the transfer is complete, I open the resulting financial transaction. In this example, assets were moved between my two branches. The goods in transit account is zero since this was a one-step transfer. The transaction was released, so Acumatica automatically created the interbranch assets and liabilities, so the branch books remain in balance. Acumatica reports include built-in capabilities to create results that span branches. I can also use the unit set to generate a report that displays a consolidated view as well as a view for each branch. This makes it easy to display results from different operating entities without changing the details of each report. If you want to eliminate intercompany transactions, you can exclude those accounts in your row set when creating the report. Visit our YouTube pages for more information about this topic, including a video on intercompany consolidation, as well as a short video explaining how to set up a new branch for intercompany transactions. <laughs>